thinking, oh dear, the lip sync's gone a bit weird, but no, the lip sync hasn't gone weird. I am having to voice over this clip. Basically, I did an audio recording of my microphone, but I have lost the microphone recording itself. And actually, I've had a whole issue with most of my hard drive at the minute, and it's gone a bit funny, um, and things have been moved around, which means that one of my projects have moved things around. So throughout this video, um, I'm having to kind of piece together the video from when I previously edited it, again, repiecing it so that it all works again because my computer's gone weird. The gist of what I'm trying to say is that because I am now 18 and I feel like I should be more grown up in the stuff that I do, I want to make, spend more time doing videos and working on the actual animation and working on other projects as well, maybe not necessarily just being film projects. In a quest to try and make myself feel more grown up, I've tried to upscale my videos and trying to make them a little bit more insightful um, but you know everyone strives to make themselves seem clever on the internet this project was supposed to end at the end of this year being like August time so the final episode would come out and job done but that clearly didn't happen I'm currently working on episode 6 and episode 6 is taking a lot longer than I thought it would to be honest although it is coming towards the end I'm definitely not going to get to episode 9 by August in fact August is gone so I definitely didn't this project was supposed to be my project throughout my sort of six form years, maybe even, you know, a little bit of the year year after. But at the end of the day, that didn't become the case. And now I'm still working on this series when the deadline has already gone. And my conclusion to that is going to be I'm going to continue working on it. I'm probably going to be working on it slower, but I've decided to make a couple of changes in terms of the script and things like that to try and make a cooler story. Well, I hope anyway. So for a release date for like the rest of the episodes, to be honest, it's uh, I don't know. I'll tell you when they're available. But in this video, we're going to be going through a whole bunch of stuff from my setup to our lighting to a visual effects breakdown to end. It's going to be hectic. So I'm trying to cram as much as I can into one video before Time Lord Victorious goes fully underway in next month with all of the stuff that I've bought arriving and I'm going to be reviewing it. Um, but I wanted to take this kind of grace period to make a behind the scenes to basically inform you all and give you some content, I suppose. But that's really everything you missed. I just said it with a lot more words. So uh, without further ado, I'll get on with the video. So this is my setup here. We have my chair, which is quite squeaky, um, but luckily you can't really hear it. And moving on, we have my microphone uh, and the spit thing that I have. So peas and all of that kind of get muffled uh, and then it is quite cleverly stuck onto my bedside table and um, plugged into my computer and my computer currently has video pad open which is how I record my audio you can also use audacity but I find it easier just to use it all in one system here it is my tripods uh, one does light and one does camera front one does camera um, there is my back light which is basically like a filler and then here is my green screen quite a new addition it's a pole that has been hung up on two hooks and then over here are other two other hooks which are used as like my storage hooks it also doesn't always stay where I want it to stay so I have to keep putting it up all the time Point proven. I first used LED lights in 2018 when I was working on a set for this Sontaran time bomb episode, but I actually scrapped that scene entirely, and it was probably the best thing I did there to be honest, because the rest of the episode was awful. You can get LED lights from this website called Brick Stuff, and it will basically send them to you. It ships worldwide, I'm pretty sure, so if you need some lights, or you can have a go at making them yourself. Actually, don't make your own. I did made my own, and I've got loads of burns. Now one room is not simply one colour, so I like to add in little bits of red and a bit of orange and things. Maybe a light would be a good place to start with lighting or a brick on a wall. My Nana's room used to have this really weird light in the top and it's based on that, so that's why there is a weird light in the corner. What I did for that effect was I took the piece of Lego that I wanted and I cut a hole in it using a screwdriver and just brute force. So I cut the hole straight through so that I could fit the LED through and then 
put that down with the wire hidden away down the front of the set and placed roughly the Lego piece on. It didn't really fit the way it should have because I didn't cut it out correctly, um, but with a bit of blue tack it stayed in place. I think the LEDs seem to take any set and make it like that bit more realistic and that little bit more cooler. So I recommend using them basically whenever you can. I'm definitely going to use them more in the future. Because it felt weird to end the video there, I just thought I'd add in a little footnote, say thank you very much for watching, hopefully you did enjoy this video, if you did make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you're new, there's a lot of cool stuff I have planned, but whether it will happen or not is another thing, but expect a poster, expect a trailer, if you want to go and check out my Instagram which is where I post most of this stuff, and go and follow me on Twitter as well. So cheers guys, goodbye. felt weird not having to do the absolute thing.